Hello everyone. So every Thursday I put up a blog post on my website www.supportingworldhope.com. I know some of you don't have time to read or you just don't like reading. No judgment there. I said this last week. Um, so with that in mind I've decided to do a live summary of my blog. And this week's blog is entitled Four Ways to Communicate with Your Major Donors During the Coronavirus Crisis. I wrote this because a friend of mine who's in resource development for a nonprofit um, asked me this question. So here's my response. One, send a handwritten note. Um, your note should be simple and emotional with a heartfelt check-in, making sure uh, the donor is uh, braving isolation well. Um, in your note, make sure you show empathy for the donor and their families. Um, many of your top donors um, those with uh, family foundations and a lot of money invested in the stock market are hurting. Many of your donors have had to shut down their businesses or no longer receiving paychecks or have elderly parents who are at risk of getting the virus. And some have college age children um, who are now living back at home. So that's a lot. Um, if a handwritten letter feels like too much uh, to add to your busy schedule, I would suggest enlisting the help of board members to get more involved with the, with the writing campaign. The next thing I would suggest you do is talk on the phone. Pick up the phone to check on your donors. In addition to sending a handwritten note before or after the call. Phone calls are a good way to build trust because they are personal in nature. Three, send an email. Send a short, I stress short email to check on your donors. Discuss how your organization is responding to the crises. Donors have a lot on their mind, but they do care about your mission, which is why they supported you in the first place. Keep communication short. Simply highlight what's going on and how you're handling operations, programming, clients, and staff. And finally, send a text. Send them I hope you're a safe text. You can follow up with a video um, with that text showing your organization in, cri in action during the crisis. In the end, your donor will not forget that in a time of crisis, you took time to check on them. So write, call, text, or continue, just continue the conversation. Don't ignore them or feel like you need to leave them alone. We're all in social isolation and it's more important than ever to be connected. We're all in this together. You can um, get more meat on this topic by completing uh, my blog post on www.supportingworldhope.com backslash blog. I promise this one is about a five to eight minute uh, read. And don't forget to like the blog and the video. Share, share the video, share the blog. Post any comments that you may have. I promise I will answer any comments that you have. Let me know what you're doing to communicate with your donors. Um, sharing is caring. Put this information out there. And don't forget to follow me on social media or YouTube. You can always find me at Supporting World Hope. Until next week, I am Sabrina signing off. Y'all have a great day out there. Uh, stay safe.